What's up guys? I wanted to tell y'all about my first spell, my first divination, my first evocation and invocation, and whether or not they worked. Um, a lot of people aren't honest about these things because they do this for money, and also it kind of leaves you vulnerable for predatory people when you discuss your weaknesses, but I don't care. So I'll let y'all know. Um, I'm still trying to sort out what's psychological and what's external and all of this, because I still am kind of a skeptic. I spent most of my life being a hardcore atheist, but, you know, after you see a full-blown demonic possession, it kind of changes you. <laughs> all right, so where should I start? Um, first thing I did in the occult world was a, ge a divination. I cast a geomantic chart, and it worked. Um, it was mind-blowing. Um, I cast a geomantic house chart, and I was looking at the political situation, the situation of the world. Everything fits together perfectly, like, the way as I see it. You know, I used tap divination where I just tapped a bunch of dots, and then I got the whole picture out of it, which was really cool. So it kind of makes me think a subconscious definitely has a lot to do with your uh, divination. Um, moving along, first spell I cast was a lucid dream spell. I don't really dream at night, haven't lucid dreamed or astral projection, so I thought, eh, let's try and see why not. Um, I used the wrong color candle, I used a blue instead of a white or silver, and I almost did it on Jupiter Day, day 2 instead of Moon. So I did it on the right day. It did not work, but as soon as the flame went out, I ran into some info online and uh, gained insight to why I'm not dreaming and what was going on and how to correct that. So some insight was gained for that. Um, the rest of my spells, the only results I've seen have just been subtle. Um, nothing miraculous or mind-blowing. Um, yeah, I've never had anything get worse or not improve. So it seems like, you know, there's a little bit there, a little bit of improvement there. It never backfired or got worse. Usually when shit backfires on people, they're doing something they probably shouldn't have been or trying to mess with someone's free will. And that usually will come back on you. And I don't buy the threefold law either. So spell casting can use some work. Um, it's fun to practice. I love candle magic. That's probably my one of my favorite things to do because you can incorporate so much of you into it. Um, first evocation was I pretty much just um, set up a spirit altar. Um, I think somebody was there when I was in front of the altar talking, my coffee stir turned on and it rolled off the counter. That thing's always been a little wonky. So yeah, I'm skeptical of why that happened. If there's any correlation, I didn't notice anyone there. Um, I had the altar up for a couple days. Um, I walked into the living room a couple days later and I just had the most awful feeling in the world. I don't know. I got filled with anxiety. And I thought I was getting them in my own head. And I was trying to, you know, stuff the feelings down all day. Kept getting worse. Um, where I was about to freak out. Like, it just built up all day. I don't know what was going on. But I took the altar down and I lit my micro, Archangel Michael candle and said the prayer on the back. And it was gone. And I never experienced anything like that again. That was the first time I called Michael or any Archangel. So I was like, that's cool, you know. Whether it was in my head or what, you know, the peace of mind from that. Was really important. So moving on along, um, most recent thing I've done was invocation. And I invoked Raphael's healing light, which that's kind of, I guess, supposed to stay with you. And it has. I'm really shocked um, from that. I did it out of a book. So you're just invoking a self-healing quality, his light. You can self-heal your pain, things like that. That works really freaking well. There wasn't instructions of what to do with the light, so I kind of did Reiki style, which I've always been a skeptic of Reiki, but holy shit, it worked. No bullshitting. I still feel like it's there, and I still have it. It's really cool. So I can't explain that. So definitely, I don't know, I'm kind of maybe changing my mind about Reiki being a load of shit. <laughs> but anywho, I wanted to tell y'all um, about, yeah, the first things I did, what I can use and prove on, what worked. Um, if you're interested in geomancy divination, there's a cool PDF for free by John Michael Greer. He also does Circles of Power. If you're interested in ceremonial magic, definitely download Circles of Power, The Art and Practice of Geomancy. Awesome book. 
if you skim that book and then there's a video uh, from Talison McKnight where he casts, shows you how to cast a house chart, um, watch that video, skim the book, and you'll be casting like a pro really quick. But that's what got me into the cult. I think geomancy is pretty cool. But anywho, hope you enjoyed and have a good day.